there, runner, and welcome to another Saturday, I think, which means it is time for another Live Watches Call of the Night. Oh, boy. <laughs> so, in the last episode we had, uh, shit, what happened in the last episode? Fuck, ah, my brain does, oh yeah, Vampire Hunter. Vampire Hunter happened. So, we have confirmation that Vampire Hunters are real, and there is a way to kill vampires, and it is some interesting shit. So my theory is that it's connected to something that, like, the main way to kill a vampire is to kill them with something that they were attached to in life. Meaning, that if I ever become a vampire, I'm having to, I'm gonna have to delete the entire channel. I'm sorry, y'all. Like, if my, if my channel ever disappears overnight, and I'm not banned or anything, then I became a vampire and I had to delete it so it couldn't be used against me. I am so sorry. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, thank you for the follow, Ashy, by the way. Thank you. I love you. Uh, my hands are not working. Yeah. Um, so I don't really know what's gonna happen in this episode, but at the very least, someone knows about Naz... Or knows that... knows that Ko knows about vampires, and they're probably gonna start looking for Nazna. Meaning we finally have an antagonist. It only took until the fucking penultimate episodes. Oh boy. But let's get in here and let's see how they handle this. Shall we? In three, two, one, and go. Oh yeah, uh, uh hi Ashy. But also, I, I do want to remind people that the sound alerts are turned off for the recording, just so it doesn't fuck with people on the, um, on the VOD. Because this is supposed to be like, you know, watching the episode. You know nothing about vampires. You know nothing about how sexy they are. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up. Oh, no. Our boy... Our boy got fucking bamboozled. Fucking, oh boy, fucking tracksuit boy. His... Wait, 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 wait. Didn't... Is either me or you guys in chat, but like when... Misai, or whatever the fuck his name is. Me... Tracksuit boy. When Tracksuit Boy first showed up, didn't, like, one of us, either me or you guys, say, wouldn't it be funny if he was dating a vampire hunter? I swear to God, that was a thing that we said. Holy shit. Which one of us was that? Was that me God prophesizing, or was that you being shitters? That was you? Mmm. I don't know, Dan. I, I don't know. I don't know, that sounds like a me thing, and totally not me being completely fucking, uh... Com uh... Completely fucking... Psychotic. Anko gave Mahiro and Akira her cards after the vampire accident. But like, I mean, he might just not have known that she was a vampire hunter. God, okay, my hair is getting in the way, so I'm like... Tying it into ponytail, but all I have is like a piece of yarn that I was playing with my cat with. So I'm hoping I could tie a knot without looking at it, without fucking my hair up. Oh! Oh, she horny horny! Oh, she horny horny! The blonde hair. Oh, she knows. She immediately knows that something went wrong. The need to feed. Mahiro's girlfriend had blonde hair. I mean, she could have been wearing a wig. We don't know. She was being flirty, you dumbass! She was being horny. She wants to fuck you, idiot. 
in like the most asexual way possible. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to tie a knot in like use use this yarn to tie my to tie a ponytail, but I'm not looking at it, so I can't see it. I I am a, I am a failure. Yes, it is. <laughs> you quitting on me, Cole? Did your mama raise a bitch? I don't know. I feel like Mahiru was more just like, you know. Mahiru was into it, I think. I don't know about that one. They're fucking creatures of the night, you dumbass. Of course they're fucking terrifying. One of them tried to kill you like half a week ago. Yeah. Like, I love. I just absolutely love. Like, Nazan's like, oh, vampire hunters are real. Vampire hunters are real, now isn't it? Oh, cool? Alright, cool, bet. Like, she just doesn't give a shit. If anything, fear makes his boner... <laughs> makes his boner big. God, I am unhinged today, huh? Holy shit. This is sussy. Absolutely fucking sussy. <laughs> oh, the fucking allosexuals are at it again. God damn it. Yes. Being immortal and living forever and having sippy seems like honestly the best fucking time. Bro, I will. I'll drink a thousand people. <laughs> You fucking heard me. I'll drink a thousand people if I have to. I mean, like, honestly, being a vampire just sounds like the coolest shit ever. Like, like, oh, you can't eat garlic. Oh, you can't see the sunlight. Oh, good night. Just be a fucking Twitch streamer. Who gives a shit? <laughs> uh. I mean, you can still be friends if he's a vampire, my guy. Like, holy shit. Why is it the first thing I hear? <laughs> because I've got the best fucking timing when it comes to people coming to my stream. Welcome, Blue Slime. Oh. Oh no. Oh no, her boy can't figure it out. Our boy can't figure out- Oh no, what a dum-dum! I mean, is it really tricking someone if, like... I don't know, like, Nazna doesn't really seem to trick anyone. I don't know about that one. And the timer is the timestamp of the anime we're watching, Blue Slime. Oh, 
Ah, ah, he's desperate. Oh, he's desperate. The poor boy. He just want the huggies. Oh no. We're watching uh, Yofukashi no Uda, Uda, or Call of the Night. You wait till they're unconscious, take their blood. Hey, hey, look, look. It doesn't hurt them, and they're unconscious. <laughs> She's looking for the porn! Yeah! Best girl, best girl, best. She knew. Invited to, to her boyfriend's room, immediately starts looking for the porn. Fucking based. Let's go. Ah, the divorce. A broken home. <laughs> Fuck! Ah, oh, god, this show might actually kill me. God damn it. Ah. Oh. Yeah, confirmation. The porn is the porn is online now. The fool, she'll never find it. Ugh. This show might actually kill me. I don't know if you can hear it, but holy fuck, my throat closed up. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> a normal person's a fucking bitch then. Bruh, like I would like honestly if like if becoming a vampire was on the table, nah man. Oh, my friends don't want me to become a vampire? Well why aren't they supporting me then? Hmm. Like, you know, a real friend would support your efforts to become a vampire. You know, I support- I support their efforts to become werewolves. Why can't they support my efforts to become a vampire? Fucking furries. I swear to god. You have one year, dumbass! The clock is ticking! Fucking Christ! You know? Hey, yeah, my friend fucking Jerry, he wanted to become a lich. I helped him pick out his phylactery. Now he's not supporting me becoming a vampire. What a bastard that Jerry is! Thank you for the hundred dollars, you know, holy shit. Support. Oh. oh no. Unless you may- well, no, it doesn't last for long because eventually it just becomes your ordinary. Okay, decades. Plural. Bruh. Bruh. Because the boring shit's boring, my guy. I'll be completely honest. This is, these are the worst fucking vampires ever. My god. Nice. Nice.
What are we gonna do on the bed, Ningen Chun? Oh, I'm going to fucking die. Ugh. All right, Alex. Oh. Oh, I'm going to actually fucking die. <sighs> I feel like I feel like maybe you shouldn't be stringing middle schoolers along there, Anko. You know, maybe, you know, you should go to prison, if that's what you're doing. Oh yeah, they're gonna just fucking- so they're just gonna find me just fucking dead with the stream still going. Corpse stream. Classic fatherless behavior. <laughs> Hey, Nozna has tiny titties, thank you. Wait, you mean you mean our boy doesn't save his porn? What the fuck? Our boy doesn't have a folder on his fucking Our boy doesn't have a folder on his fucking laptop called not porn? What a coward. Alright, Malishin. Well get get some good sleep if you can. My man has no homework folder. What a bitch. Ah, she's a racist. I see. Um, there are several exceptions to that rule, like, right the fuck there. Jesus Christ. Like, they're... They're making this so much more of a thing than it has to be. Like, we've established in this universe that drinking a human's blood, they don't... Like, they drink about as much as your average fucking blood draw. You know what I mean? Like, Ko can get drunk multiple times per night and be totally fucking fine, not lightheaded at all. Oh no. Oh no, she's unhinged. Oh no! Oh. I mean, they already tried that one and they decided not to, so I mean, that one's kind of passed at this point. I'm beyond as well as a vampire, I would just avoid this bitch. Hey, Stonks.
Bruh. Bruh. Bruh, imagine siding with the stinky humans. Imagine siding with the stinky fucking humans instead of, you know, the Chad vampire. What the fuck? Like, really, just seems like she's just a horrible racist. Oh, this absolute cunt! Oh my god! What an absolute fucking bitch that I love her so much. I love this bitch so much. She's such a cunt. I, one thing I do kind of like is that this sh this episode kind of confirms that that uh, <laughs> Nazna kind of doesn't know how to be a fucking vampire. It's kind of great. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, you pull this trick in America, he's gonna get shot to death by the cops. Like, she would honestly, she would have had to have said, hey, there's a hooligan running around. <laughs> and then she would have to, and then she would have to come up with something to make him out to be a minority. <laughs> that's how, that's how, that's how you get this trick working in America. Oh boy, now we have another one. Alright, the final member of the Vampire Camarilla. Alright, final final episode gonna have her in it. Oh, ba 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 da ba da da ba da ba da ba ba da ba da ba da ba ba da ba da ba da ba ba da da ba 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 da ba da da ba Oh boy, all right. Oh. So, oh boy, that's a fun episode. Hmm. So this ending theme is just absolute fucking banger, like holy shit. Like I kind of don't want to talk over it because it's just so fucking good. Ah. Uh. What is that pool she's swimming in? Like, seriously, what what is that that she's swimming in? Because, like... I don't want to say what it looks like, but it looks like some... Looks like something a little sussy. Just, just saying. Oh, boy. Alright, so... Uh... That is our episode. I don't think there's an after credit, so... Sky boop. Alright, so... Bunch of foam, but funny, everyone agrees it's cum. Excellent. Excellent. I'm glad that everybody is, uh... That everybody is so, is so cultured. Um, alright. So this episode, I, I... I like it a lot because it kind of establishes... It establishes two things, right? 
Thing number one. Thing number one. Nasuna's kind of shit at being a vampire. Thing number two. Ko doesn't really know why he wants to be a vampire, when really it should be the easiest fucking decision one would ever make. Three. This detective is a actual fucking problem. You know? Like... Felix vibes. What? What do you mean, Felix vibes? But, um... Okay. So... Oh, boy. The, uh... So the whole thing, like, with, with, with Nazuna and, and Ko, and, like, in Ko's self-doubt, right? Like, Ko, Ko is, like... Ko doesn't seem to really understand, like, why he wants to be a vampire anymore, because he's kind of, like... Like, he, he started hanging out with Nazuna, and he's like, I want to fall in love with Nazuna as kind of, like, a utilitarian thing, a means to an end, because he didn't feel like he fit in with his peers, right? He didn't feel like he fit in with the, with, like, the day, right? And he had a lot more fun during the night. So, like, Nazna starts becoming a utilitarian thing. Then he starts falling for Nazna, having all these adventures and etc, cetera, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. But then he falls back in with his old friend group from when he was a kid, and it's like, well, they're part of the day. If I become a vampire, I, 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 I imagine he probably thinks he's going to lose them. So, that's fun. And then, of course, you know, he's, you've got that blood-crazed vampire that he ran into, and it's... You know, that's a problem. Um, so, like, he kind of, like, has the order of operations fucked up in his head. He's like, okay, do I want to become a vampire because of Nazna, or do I want to become a vampire so I can be with Nazna? Do I want to lose my... Do I want to risk losing my friends now that I've got them back, or will they stick with me? Uh, is there a chance that I'll turn into that fucking crazy asshole, or what's going on? Like... From, like, our perspective, as the enlightened, as the enlightened audience that knows what's going to fuck, that knows what's fucking going on, like, we know that it's, like, one, like, we know that the vampires are more or less harmless. Two, like, she's actively, like, that detective lady is actively fucking with him. And three, bruh, you're a fucking dumbass. Um, like, you know, like, that's, like, the vibe. Um... And I think the confirmation that Nazna is kind of shit at being a vampire really works here, like, really, really well. Like, as long as you're not a problem. I mean, so long, just don't make yourself a problem. Just don't, just don't make yourself a problem. I'm just, just, you know? Just, just don't be a problem. Is it that hard to not be a problem? Like, I don't know. Like, 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 the... like... We have to assume that the death rate from the from the vampires is not that high. Otherwise, like, Japan has a murder rate of how much? Like, Japan doesn't have, Japan have, like, the world's lowest murder rate? For vampires to be operating in Japan, and each vampire having maybe one childer per, like, per year, if we assume, then... Like, that must mean that they perform so few murders that it doesn't show up on the Japanese... on the Japanese crime rate at all. Meaning that they're functionally fucking harmless. Think of recent human history. Also, also leading in. Uh, humanity kinda cringe. <laughs> yeah, like, humanity kinda cringe. Maybe, you know... Maybe forsaking your humanity and putting on the stone mask is a good idea. Just saying. <laughs> Um, I think, I personally, th and then, like, just, it seems like all of the other vampires are having a much more fulfilling life than Nazna, because Nazna's kind of a fucking weirdo, right? Nazna's kind of a fucking weirdo. She just, like, she wakes up, she plays video games, she does a massage, she gets some sip, hangs out with Ko, goes back to bed. Like, her day-to-day -day life is really fucking dull. But it's entirely because she's a fucking weirdo and doesn't fit in with the rest of the vampire kind. So we can't really use her as a baseline for how what being a vampire is like. Based on what we've seen of the other vampires, it seems like it's a lot more interesting. It's just Nazana's really bad at it. Um, 
which is pretty fun, which is pretty cool. Why are we talking about that? Because we just watched an anime about vampires. Um, and we're doing the recap of the episode. So, it's... <laughs> like, I don't know, it, it's it's really, really, it's really, really cool. I, I, I think that's actually pretty neat. Um... Like, this, the, the scenes between Nazna and Ko are actually, like, really, really cute, and I like them a lot. And it... I don't know, like, it's just, it's just really fun seeing the disconnect between them. You know, the disconnect between, like, Nazna and Ko, and just, like, their perspectives on things, and just how... They're kind of really shit at what they're doing. Like, both ways. Nazna's really shitty at being a vampire, Ko's really shitty at being a person. And just... I don't know, it's really neat. Uh, the scenes with- the scene with Anko, I think, really nails home everything, though. Just, like, the idea of just, like... Vampires... Like, despite being functionally harmless, because that's... They're, they, they basically are. They're, they're, they're functionally fucking harmless. Like, there's still people that are, like, like Anko, and just so unabashedly down for caving their fucking skulls in with rocks, that, like, because Ko is so shitty at what he, at, 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 like, existing, he's basically brought the ultimate fucking rock smasher in to, like, Nazna's life, and it's going to be an issue, but Nazna doesn't really grab the gravity of what's going on. Like, she has pledged herself to murder all of them, but... Nazna just literally cannot absorb the fact that her life is most likely going to be in danger. And that's something that really kind of speaks to, like, her outlook and how she's kind of shit at it. I imagine if Ko brought this up to any of the rest of the members of, like, the vampire leading body that we saw, like, in, like, what, like, episode 7, episode 6, whichever episode that was, then, honestly, you'd probably- it, it, they'd probably have, like, a much bigger reaction of, like, okay, yeah, no, that bitch gotta die. Um, and it would be entirely valid for them to do that, because at that point, it's fucking self-defense, like, holy shit. Um, but yeah. Episode good. Show good. Had a lot of fun. Uh, can't wait for the final episode next week. Holy shit, so that's Overlord and Call of the Night ending next week. Oh, boy. Um... Oh, that are vampires that are not that uncommon and they aren't a problem. I mean, that's also a thing. Yeah, it could also be that just like for a vampire that's on top of their game, they're 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 not an issue. They're they're just like chuckle fucks. But that's really all I have to talk about. So let me know what you thought of this episode down there in the comments. If you're on YouTube or in the chat, if you're on the Twitch. And if you're on YouTube, this is where you get off, because, uh, chat, we're- because, like, live chat, we're gonna be watching a episode or two of Edge Runners. And if you are watching on the YouTube edited version, then I should be streaming... Not today, no, actually no, sorry, because it's Saturday when this goes up, so... I should be streaming, uh, Sunday at 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Don't know what I'm doing, because it seems like my schedule is getting in fucking a little bit. But hopefully I will see you there at twitch.tv forward slash live the cyber doll. And if you want to catch the animes live, then I generally stream anime in the mornings at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, usually. So, have a good one. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs>